main aim of this program is uh, to support Myanmar partners I mean, to work on sustainable development through evidence-based participatory process by engaging with many stakeholders in water resources development and also planning. Um, the meaning of this for us, for our team, is in the way that um, first, it's important for us to deliver credible knowledge as the evidence. It doesn't mean that we need to do everything new, but we need to be aware of what already known and where is the information is available. Through assessment, through the review of literature, through talking with experts in different areas, through our modeling analysis, it could support this part. We think that participation of people in the process very important because in order for us to achieve something like common from for different background for people who work in different subject and have the priority for different sector, we need to have common understanding and also have an open discussion based on the evidence and information that all stakeholders actually feel that they can believe it or rely on it or agree that we use this kind of information as a basis for the discussion and make a decision together. Air Refugia is very helpful to our department. Now, they, now they focus on the Chenro River. The Chenro River is very, very important for Myanmar people uh, related to water quality, related to river bend erosion, including flooding. So, from the hell of the SCI, so they are now they are trying to develop one of the hydraulic more like a hydraulic. So this one is very useful, even uh, not only for my department, but also for the meteorological department. In the whole country, uh, we have drought problems every, almost every year in the central dry regions. But in the lower Myanmar, uh, we have flood problems. Erosion is a problem, and also water quality. Mm, because in Myanmar, most of the people that didn't aware about the importance of water quality. So they may use river water to right lead for their uh, or what you call domestic usage. Participation with uh, water user. Uh, you know, many people are walking and living around the, uh, along the river and they, they are participation also need required. Some of the key tools that we use are GIS, Geographic Information System. So we introduce uh, not that long, but also like to be like short and comprehensive on the concept of how to use GIS for data processing and data analysis, which can be used as an input for hydraulic model. Another focus too that we, we focus in this uh, phase is the hydraulic model. In this case, we select HECRAS. HECRAS is a one-dimensional hydraulic model which can be used to analyze the flood or flow condition in the river. And this uh, training is very useful for our future work because uh, our future, uh, our work, my um, work, uh, the is also the flood access and also the sister release. So very important this training. I have Lots of knowledge from the hydraulic modeling. So I can share the my colleagues and how to set the hydraulic model, how to run the hydraulic model, you know, and also how to apply the our flood forecasting system in future.
so I can share that. We can use this model in our our river on our river. We can apply this model, and uh, we can use this model to to consider uh, the how we, how inflow will come to the river uh, to the reservoirs and how how much runoff will be there. And normally, I'm working for the Director General Office and also for the temporary secretaries of the NWRC. So the information and the less and the knowledge I learned from the program can apply in for the uh, secretaries and for my department. Also, I can share uh, my knowledge to the um, other people uh, by conducting training. Uh, one more thankful to SEI is uh, they invite uh, some uh, technician from some department. I mean, uh, water quality issue this morning. So they invite and they share knowledge. First of all, I would uh, recommend uh, uh, Myanmar uh, set up the priority uh, area set up for the uh, water quality monitoring uh, system. And uh, the important is the how to uh, manage and protect the river and use as the uh, uh, people for the uh, sustainable development that, that, that we, we have talked so far. In the first training, we already, we already have the background of the model and in the second training we can now like it like a how can I say model we can develop ourselves we know every step of the more construction more deployment so for the future we can use these practice for our any other rivers to by taking this opportunity and this experience flood problem is very very big in Myanmar so we need to study a flood analysis and so we need to give such kind of information to public. So we have seen uh, actual benefit from the ground also, apart from building the capacity to participants of related agency. So we try also to set up the, the pilot or preliminary hydraulic model, which can be used for the real application. For example, right now we use the data from secondary source from the website from the global scale, which may not be uh, accurate enough, but at least uh, based on like uh, limitation of data availability in Myanmar, we can use this as a preliminary model. But with the support from DWAR, we have got some the real cross-section survey data, which can be used as a, a accurate input for the hydraulic model. From the past year. We learned a lot and there's still a lot of things that we think that we like to do but we cannot do by ourselves because the, our goal is very ambitious. So that's why we initiated the second phase of ELD Futures with a focus on establishment of the ELD Futures partnership to try to collaborate with many other initiatives. How we could think about some modeling organization who could help bridging the science and also policy related to water resources, how our effort and this partnership can support minimal effort in the exhibition of the legal based organization to take place and also to be sustained. This initiative will not be sustained, nor any initiative can be sustained for a long time. If the local stakeholders uh, want to really, uh, won't be ready to take the leadership role. Before previous time, even we work in, my, in our department, uh, we don't have that kind of uh, chance. To do together work, to work together any other agency or any other company, any other consultant firm. Now, from by the help of ELD Future, now we have learned a lot. 
how to set up our institutional setting, also how to start our experiment, measurement. Also, what is a very important key point for my departments. So now the future, your future is very, very helpful to my department objectives.